Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back here to do what I melted this week. So my unempties and my empties. Um, this week I'm just going to do it all in one video um, because I was away earlier this week for a couple of days. I didn't melt. I didn't actually end up taking any wax with me on holiday. Um, and tonight I haven't changed my wax either because I'm just exhausted. So there's definitely a lot less than normal. And because I'm tired, I haven't even sorted this box out. So I'm not even doing like empties then um, empties or anything like that I'm just going to pull stuff from the box and talk about it so a bit different so starting with Savannah Blue Santa Baby so this is Palo Santo sugar cookie birthday cheesecake and cake butter ice cream love this scent it is one of my favorite Palo Santo bakeries it is just amazing um I think what sets this apart is that cheesecake note. It is a really delicious cheesecake. Creamy. It's got that very slight, um, like, the, you know, a good cheesecake, like if it's made with a little bit of sour cream or whatever, like it just has that slight tartness without being sour milk. And then you get that really awesome Palo Santo wood through it. So I love this. It throws so well. Um, it does do very well for me. Um, yeah, and I, I would definitely get that one again. I love it. Um, I think she had it up on her site recently, so I may have to go in and, not in a loaf, but I might have to go in and get some more. Uh, Southbound Christmas tree cookies. So this is pine fresh lime cardamom pepper delicious frosted sugar cookies uh this is a christmas staple i melted this this morning um well it's still melting now because i haven't changed my wax it's on in the bedrooms i love this one because the cardamom and the um lime and the pepper just make it a little bit more of a zingy pine than some of the other ones a lot of the pine and cookie scents i have are quite creamy and vanilla -y and smooth not that this one's super peppery or super limeish, but yeah, it just has a little bit of a sharpness that those other ones don't. Um, I get great throw from this one. This loaf, look, it's lasted me a while, but yes, I would get that scent again. Maybe next Christmas I'll get that one again. Super Tarts Jackal. So this is blackberry, zucchini bread, and I think toasted marshmallow. I adore this scent. Um... It's just the best blackberry jam scent I've ever smelled. Nothing comes close. It's delicious. It leans a little bit to the sweet side, but it's not over sweet. The zucchini bread balances it out really well. Oh, it's just amazing. And this one, seriously, I had it on in the lounge room and I could smell, I was sitting out in the backyard um, and I could smell it out there. And my house you enter the backyard from the kitchen. So that means that I could smell this through what I was melting in the kitchen because it was coming through the back door. So love, will forever repurchase, great throw. Just one of my favorite scents. Teddy bees, another Christmas staple for me. Christmas trees and cream, fresh pine boughs, vanilla sugar waffle cone and rich vanilla buttercream. Um, really love this one. It's very sweet, I will say. There's something that has maybe grown on me, like something that I've noticed more the more I've melted this. Like it's got a great pine scent to it and the vanilla, thus the vanilla notes to it are just perfect and it's a bit different to a lot of the cookie and um, the cookie and pine scents that I tend to do. But yeah, I'm guessing maybe the rich vanilla buttercream. Um, but yeah, it's quite dense and sweet, but still I really love it. It always throws really well. Um, I would get this one again. I really love that scent. Uh, here's an empty, so Super Tarts Yippie Kaye, so iced sugar cookies, pine needles, love this. You know, I guess, you know, I reached for all my Christmas favourites today, so lots of scents that I love. Um, this one, like, yeah, it's not as sweet as Christmas Trees and Cream, and it's creamier than, I tend to do these three as a trifecta, so I'll do this in one room, um, and then those scents in other rooms. And yeah, the the Southbound one has more of a sharpness to it. The Teddy Bees is obviously not a cookie and it's much sweeter and vanilla-like. This one is a good balance, um, but it is, it's quite creamy without being sort of overly vanilla sweet. So I really enjoy it. Um, it's a, 
it throws well, but it's not like it's definitely not a powerhouse scent. Like I mean, it's it you can smell it wherever you are in the room. It's just yeah, it's not as present as it could be. But I still really love it, um, and will forever repurchase it. It's, it's an amazing scent. Uh, Teddy Bee's Christmas Macchiato. So this was fresh pine buttercream, vanilla waffle cone, espresso, and vanilla ice cream. So this one is pretty much Christmas trees and cream with um, espresso and a bit of ice cream, I think. So I do really like it. Um, it does really smell like Christmas trees and cream with a bit of coffee, but not too much coffee. Again, it's got that very sweet quality that the Christmas trees and cream has. So the coffee is kind of nice, but it doesn't change that sweet profile, really. So yeah, this one I probably only like to take it in small doses. It's not one I reach for a huge amount. Um, I got great throw from it. I probably would repurchase it, but only maybe like a souffle next Christmas or something. It's not one I need a huge amount of. Okay, a few uh, empty Super Tarts clams. So Super Tarts Mermaid. Um, Orchid, Ocean Rain, Watercress. Absolutely adore this. One of my favourite aquatic scents. It is super strong. Um, it's really oceanic but green as well, I think, from the watercress. And the orchid, I think, is like a kind of green floral. It's just, yeah, just one of the best aquatic scents I've ever melted. It is super strong and 100% would repurchase that one. If I'm, if it seems like I'm going fast, I am. I'm just tired. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> um, but we've got a pretty full on day tomorrow as well because we've got family coming over that we didn't see today, um, Christmas Day. So, um, yeah, we've, and we've, today we were, we had Christmas stuff um, at my grandmother's, but tomorrow we're having it here. So, um, and the house is not ready. Um, so super tarts, mouse ears. So ice lemonade and lollipops. Love this one. Um, I think I've loved everything I melted this week. Um, <laughs> feels that way. It's just sharp, refreshing, zingy. You know, the lemonade is really, um, really like zesty and zingy the lollipops add sweetness um it's just a staple around here i get great throw from it definitely will repurchase it or different variations i will say with the mouse ears since other than merry mouse which is pine and is quite unique i feel like they're all kind of similar like you get one with blackberry you get one with apple you get one with creamsicle um i don't need to have them all like one is enough and I can kind of rotate through rotate through them all. So whether I get Mousy as solo again or whether I get, you know, one of the other scents, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, Island Escape from K. This is a tropical fruity scent. It's got tamarind in it. So it's really, really lovely. It makes me, it reminds me of like a guava scent. I don't think it has guava as a note, but it really, to me, does have like a sweet guava kind of vibe to it. So I do really enjoy this. It threw much better this time. The first time I melted it, I was a bit disappointed in the throw. But this time it threw really strongly. Um, I would get this one again. It is a really nice tropical fruity scent. Uh, magically Delicious. Hang on. I blended that, didn't I? I'm going to put that aside for a minute because I'm fairly certain I blended that. So let me just get to what I melted that with. Uh, Illuminati from Super Tarts. So mistletoe, clean linen, pomegranate, lemon, cus lemon custard. I love this. <laughs> Lots of scents I love this week. This one is just so clean and fruity. And clean and fruity can be a bit of a dangerous combo for me, but I love this. I think the lemon, the lemon custard is what kind of turns it into something I love, but... It's not overly lemon curdy or lemon custody at all. It's just, I don't know. This one is so hard to describe. I think if you like mistletoe and pomegranate, you'd probably love this. Um, it doesn't have an overly strong clean linen vibe, but it does come across as kind of clean fruity. So really great for refreshing the house. I get great throw from it, 100%. I think I need to get a like a half bam of that next time because I really, really love that scent. Street Rat, um, I tend to do Street Rat and Illuminati um, together in the house because they're quite different scents, but they have they have that same sort of 
clean, fruity vibe, which I love. And I guess they've both got the linen note in them, which maybe is what sort of relates them a little bit in my head. So Street Rat is um, fresh linen, mandarin, orange, warm sand, and fresh ozone. This one I love as well. It really has that warmth, like a warm, clean, refreshing citrus. And the oz I think the ozone really makes it as well. Just that, that ozone is a really hard one for me to describe, but if you've smelled it, then you know what I mean. It just, it adds this extra kind of something like freshness to it. Um, great throw from this 100% get this one again. It's amazing. Um, I've got a lot of one cube ones left. Uh, Your Highness from Super Tart. So cannabis flower, sandalwood, vanilla bean, berries, and orange. I forgot what I was melting when I went into the bedrooms and smelled this. And I remember thinking that I'm, I was like, I really forgot. I was like, I have no idea for the life of me what I've me melting. But it smelt like a really earthy patchouli blackberry with a little bit of orange. Like, I think it made me think of, um, she has another one, which I think is blackberry and orange and patchouli, maybe. I'm thinking dwarfuria, maybe that's not it. Anyway, um, it kind of made me think of that. Um, I know it wasn't exactly the same, but I was like, is that what I was melting? Um, I seriously had no idea that the, yeah, that about the cannabis flower or anything like that. So to me... I mean, I think because it doesn't have patchouli, I feel like the cannabis flower, maybe my brain was thinking patchouli. Um, but the berries definitely smells like blackberry. So um, I really do enjoy this one, though. I don't reach for them super often, but I do really like those kind of earthy citrus blackberry scents. Um, like that other one I was thinking of that I think it is Dwarfuria. Um, I really enjoy that one as well every now and then. So great throw. Um, don't need large quantities of it, but I would get another clam of that. Super Tarts, it's a jolly holiday, so funnel cakes and blackberry. This is a really good one just because it is a really great, great blackberry scent. You don't get a huge amount of bakery melting. I mean, you know that it is a bakery blackberry, but it is far more blackberry than it is the bakery. Um, but I really think I've grown to really enjoy that for the blackberry. I think when I first started melting it, I wanted more funnel cakes, but now I just, I really enjoy it for the blackberry that it is. It is really strong. Again, I don't need huge quantities of this, but I would get another clam of it. This is already, I think, the second clam I've had. Um, don't need to like go out of my way for it, but it's one of those ones if I was ordering and it was there, I would get it. Just doing all the clam shells now. Okay, so... Um, I think the only one I have of Old Label left. So Dr. Jekyll, which is fizzy papaya soda and sweet lollipop. Love it. Um, I love that papaya scent of hers. It's just, it's so deliciously tropically, tropical fruity. And a little bit, it's not overly fizzy, but just enough fizziness to it. And I guess a little bit of sweetness from that lollipop. It actually... Almost, because it's a different sweetness to the papaya, it actually kind of, because papaya can be a little bit too sweet. So the sweet lollipop, because it is more of a, like a concentrate kind of sharp sweetness, um, I feel like it actually balances really well with the papaya. So this is a great scent for a warm afternoon, throws super strongly. Yes, I would get this one again. I really enjoy it, even though I've held on to it for a long time. I really enjoy squishing clams as well on the old squishy ones. Um, I had two clam shells with that one, and I do only melt it in summer, so I feel like that's kind of why I've gone slow with it. But anyway, um, day five from Super Tarts of this Palo Santo blackberry, amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. So this one I actually, I actually picked accidentally. I meant to melt it in the afternoon, but I threw it in in the morning. I was looking for another one of these Advent scents with these labels. Um... It was a blueberry pumpkin one I was meant to melt. Um, and I, you know, this had already been melting, so I didn't want to change it out. But I love bakery in the morning. So I ended up throwing in some fake and bake with it. So it was fake and bake bean, um, zucchini bread, sugar hoogies, and sweet cream. And it was a good combo. Um, you know, it was, I got a good dose of the 
the um the bakery the bakery turned the blackberry into more of like you know a blackberry sort of foody scent rather than a woody blackberry got a little bit of the palo her palo in this one does not come through super strong um so it's just kind of a light woodiness in with that scent but it was still really good um so i did really enjoy that combo um the day five scent not that i think i can get it again anyway because she's not offering them but i probably wouldn't get this one again um just because i have other blackberry palette blends from other vendors that have done performed better for me than this one um i have really enjoyed it but it just hasn't been quite as strong as some of the other ones i've tried um but i would contemplate doing a blackberry palo fake and bake combo again like it did work quite well uh season's greetings from super tart so this is I think this is pine, teakwood, citrus, and I think like an earthy scent. Like it's it's meant to, or maybe sea salt. It's like earthy. It's got like woods, earth, fruit, and green and ocean. I I can't remember exactly what, but yeah, I get I get a lot of woodiness. I get citrus. And I get like a salty tone and they all go together really well. It's like just different elements of the earth. Um, throws really strongly. I really do enjoy it. I don't reach for it a super large amount, but I do really enjoy it when I melt it. Um, and I would get it again. I do really like that one. Humbug from Super Tart. So crisp apple, fall leaves, orchard wood, prickly cactus and sea salt. I really love this one as well. It's that cactus and sea salt is just so fresh and like juicy green. And then there's just, I think the crisp apple fall leaves in orchard wood is like, cause I think humbug used to be like called sweater weather and cactus and sea salt. Her sweater weather is not like the real sweater weather, but it is still a really nice clean green kind of outdoorsy scent. And it blends really, really well with the um, cactus and sea salt. So, yeah, super refreshing, just super cleansing, really pretty scent. Great throw. 100% um, would get that one again. Seriously, my brain is powering down, like, as I speak. Um, L3 Machete. So this is uh, Flapjacks, Blueberry, Pumpkin Patch, and Pecan Waffles. Um, this one I really liked. I was nervous about the flapjacks because I'm not like into pancake scents at all. I got it because it had pecan waffles and blueberry pumpkin patch. Um, the that flapjacks that kind of it's kind of pancakey. It actually did come through very strongly, but I liked it. I don't know why. I don't know if it was just I'm coming around on that scent or just because it was blended with the blueberry pumpkin patch, which I love. Blueberry pumpkin patch is kind of like this almost savoury blueberry scent. It's really good. And then a bit of that pumpkin pecan waffles, but not a huge amount of pecan waffle. Yeah, it, it was mostly the blueberry pumpkin patch and that sort of flapjack scent, and I used to not like scents like that, but I really enjoyed this. I got very strong throw from this one. Um, I'll have to see how I feel at the, at the end of the loaf as to whether I would get this again. Um, but I, right now, all I can say is I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot more than I suspect. I, I was kind of hoping that the flapjacks wouldn't smell too strong because I thought I wouldn't like it if it did. But no, I really like that. Um, uh, Morgrim from L3. So blackberry, brown sugar, pound cake, lemon poppy seeds. So this is, it's a nice lemon blackberry scent. It's not my favourite. I do really enjoy lemon poppy seed as a lemon... Um, bakery scent because it's not too lemon. So yeah, nothing really stands out here. I think I get a lot of blackberry. Um, the bakery, it's not really distinguishable what sort of bakery it is. Like it's just kind of generally cakey. Um, a little bit of that lemon. It's not bad. I'm not crazy about it, but it was it was nice enough. Um, it threw well, but I don't feel like I need to get that one again. Rose Girls Cookie Land, so confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch, pretzels, and cookies. So this, I don't know, something happened in cure time with this one. And I know it because I got another bag of it this week. I got a mini melter bag of it. 
and it smells different. And I, I'm smelling this bag now, and it smells different. Um, and I know when I got this to start with, it smelled like what the Mini Melter bag does now. So right now, all I can smell on this is it smells like caramel. So I think it's the toffee butterscotch portion of it has just completely overtaken the rest, and I don't like it. Yeah, it's just, it's like the caramel off a it's like a caramel apple without the car, without the apple. And I really don't like it. Um so I have this bag of cookie land, which I feel like I'm gonna have to melt really quickly because this I mean I haven't written the pour date down, but I mean it's got the she only introduced those labels like halfway through the year. So it only took a few months, I feel like, to cure into this beast that I don't love. And you know what? I'm going to say not just this isn't a rose girl thing either. I feel like butterscotch and butter brickle, um, both of those scents for me, when I first get vendor wax with those scents, I can handle them, but give it six months and then the butterscotch or the butter brickle has just exploded and I dislike the scent. So I don't know why, but I just, I've noticed it with Super Tarts and now I'm noticing it with Rose Girls. So it just must be those oils. They just cure into like extreme strength and then I don't like them anymore. So yeah, um, I will have to get my enjoyment out of that bag of cookie land that I have before it turns into that caramelly mess because I really don't like that scent. But I like the, I like freshly poured cookie land. <laughs> so a bit of a, um, yeah, a bit of a dilemma there. Uh, waxy taffy, blackberry tea and cakes bread. So blackberry jam, butter cookies, tea and cakes, zucchini bread. Really like this. You know, it's three of my favourite bakery scents, so can't really go wrong. The tea and cakes makes it quite zingy because it's got that kind of orange zing that that tea and cakes has. Um, get a good dose of blackberry. It's not noticeably zucchini bread, but you can definitely tell it's more than just tea and cakes on the or cookies on the bakery front. So, yeah, good throw. Um, would consider getting that one again if I do. I... Waxy Taffy is just, I just haven't had enough hits from Waxy Taffy. So um, I might order that one again if I do order from her again. L3 Waxy Wonders, Rainwater, Rainstorm and Ozone. So I did this at the same time as just Rainstorm. So I just wanted to compare the two. Because when I sort of melted this one the first time, I was like, ah, oh, they really don't smell that different. Um, but they, they do. And I think I like the Rainwater, Rainstorm, Ozone better than just Rainstorm on its own. I mean, I love Rainstorm, don't get me wrong. It's just this beautiful kind of floral aquatic scent. It oh, This one makes me think of um, like a downpour of rain and you're near a garden but you're also near a pool. Like a, like a you know, there's a, you, like you've kind of got a tropical, a tropical garden with, you know, some florals and stuff, flowers and stuff going on in there. Like it's, it's, is it a chlorine? It's not really a chlorine note, but it does make me think more of a pool than like, like oceanic sense or, you know, oceanic notes or anything. Um, the rainwater rainstorm ozone, however, has more of a, it definitely doesn't have as much of a floral to it, which I think is why I like it more. And yeah, I, it has more straight up kind of aquatic vibes to it, I guess. Like I wouldn't say that I'm thinking of a pool with that one, but I wouldn't say it's making me think ocean either. It's just making me think water. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy, I really enjoy them both, but I think this one just, I, you know, I liked a little bit more. Um, great throw from both of them and I would repurchase both of them because they're both really good. L3 Agave Lime Strawberry Raspberry Guava Fizzy Soda. So this is okay. It's very syrupy. It's very strong. But yeah, it's... I think I wish there was a bit more guava to it, like a little bit more kind of sweetness and light. It's very fizzy and it's definitely like a, a lime strawberry kind of um, 
like syrupy concentrate. So it's okay, but I'm not crazy about it. It throws really well. Um, I'm, I don't think I'd get it again because I like scents like that um, during summer, but that one just feels a little bit too heavy. So yeah. Um, L3 Water Horse of Loch Ness, so also known as Loch Ness Monster. Evenings, I think it's evening in Hampton, uh, Seattle Rain and Salt Sea Air. So this was very good. Let me remind myself. Mm. This one's got a very sharp saltiness from it, like the Salty Sea Air and Seattle Rain is, to me, kind of a salty oceanic rain scent as well. I'm not sure about what Evenings is, but. Yeah, this one really does make me think of, like, heavy stinging rain off, like, you know, your cliffside and there's just a crazy strong, like, rain kind of over the ocean. It's really good. Um, it threw well. Um, I've had a few different scents. I kind of feel a bit like the Seattle rain is really what makes this one. So, and I love her Seattle rain. Um... I think I might get that one again, but I don't feel like I need it like in mass quantities because I, you know, like to share the Seattle rain love around a little bit in different blends. Um, L oh, no, K, Scented Melts Turquoise. I don't know what the notes are for this. I've had it sitting in my collection for a very long time. Um, I think I bought it back when I used to watch Sasha's videos. I think it might have been one she recommended. I've got to be honest, like... I, I probably wasn't all that familiar with my scent preferences back then. Now I am, and this is 100% not for me. It's a powdery floral nightmare. <laughs> um, it's so powdery. Straight up smells like, like a grandma scent. Like, And I, I don't mean that to be disparaging, but... It just... I don't like those powdery tones... Yeah, I don't know why I said it smells like a grandma scent because neither of my grandmas would be into this either. Um, but yeah, just that, just that powderiness I think is yeah where I was going with it. It's not that it smells bad, but I just like I don't like I said even I said nightmare. I don't know. I just I feel like if I smelt this out on someone else in someone else's home, it probably wouldn't bother me. But in my home, it's just not. Not for me. So, very strong, but wouldn't get it again. Uh, Sugar Hookie Crunch Vanilla Birch Palo Santo from K. So, this is my custom. I love it. It's one of my favourite takes on sort of a woody Palo Santo bakery scent. Her Sugar Hookie Crunch is a great Sugar Hookie scent. The Vanilla Birch just freshens it a little. And you get that amazing kind of cookie Palo Santo combo. So love, love, love that one. Great throw. Would do that combo again. I'm nearly done with that bag as well. So I'll be due to do it in my next K or whatever that is. All right. So the Magically Delicious I did with Palo Santo from Luna Wax. So I just wanted to see, given that I like Palo Santo and bakery so much, um, and Magically Delicious to me is kind of bakery, but also kind of not. So I thought maybe this would turn out a bit different and be really cool. I did really enjoy it, but it really did just smell like a cookie Palo scent. Um, which, don't get me wrong, it did smell good. It was a really good combo, but it just didn't really smell that different to any of the other cookie Palos out there. I just, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I liked it, but it just, it wasn't different enough for me to do it again. It threw really well, but yeah. Uh, Rose Girls Berry Lovely Ice Cream. So this has that berry, that very lovely scent of hers, which I think is like the Sicilian lemon cookies and like a berry scent. Um, I really love Berry Lovely. It is a really nice, like lemony berry, sweet berry combo. Um, but it just doesn't throw and I've had it, I had very lovely birthday cake and that didn't throw very well. And then this ice cream one also didn't throw very well. So I, I hate it cause I love the scent, but yeah, the throw is just not there. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't get it again because of the throw, but it just sucks cause I really like that scent. Teddy Bee's Winter Island. So this is vanilla balsam, coconut sandalwood, um, and salty sea air. Um, I really enjoy this. 
I just I really like these vanilla balsam blends that Teddy Bees did, um, like summery vanilla balsam. I liked Balsam Beach a little bit more. I can't even remember what was in that, but it was similar. It was kind of salty Sierra-ish um, with the vanilla balsam, but I just love because they add a kind of sharpness to it because vanilla balsam can be a little bit a little bit cloying sometimes. Um, but in these blends, like with this salty Sierra. Coconut sandalwood is not actually my favourite sandalwood sort of scent. It has a weird a tone to it that I don't love, but I really enjoyed this. Um, I got great throw from it, and I would get that one again. And then I did Ebony Violet Shake It Like a Milkshake, so Boom Boom Cream, Sugar Cookies, and Vanilla Ice Cream. This I really like as well. It's, it's an odd one. Sometimes you go into the room and it smells a lot like Boom Boom. Other times you go in and it smells more like a milkshake and cookie. Like a yeah, ice cream and cookies. But her cookie scent is really good. So I really do enjoy this one. I get great throw from it. Um, possibly would get it again. Don't need large quantities, but I'd get it in small quantities, I think. And then lastly, Sparkles Wax Melts Palo Santo Black Sea Zen. Um, this one is nice, but it pretty much just smells like Black Sea. Like I haven't smelt Palo Santo in any of these Palo Santo scents of hers. I'd have to have Black Sea there to compare it exactly to know if it was the same. But when it was melting, I was like, this just smells like Black Sea. It threw really well in my bedroom. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't get it again because I wanted Palo. That is it. That is everything I melted this week. So much smaller week this week. Um, yeah, I'm tired. So I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you're all doing really well. I hope you had a... Um, a good Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Um, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.